David Speaker, it's a motion you pass to yourselves. <laughs> and thank you, Honorable Speaker, that I made. But Even the David Speaker has five minutes. <laughs> thank you, Honorable Speaker. Even as I participate in, the PT, in uh, debating on the President's State of the Nation address, I want to uh, direct my attention to the unpatriotic media houses in this country, and particularly NTV, which recently attempted to wrongly analyze this statement. And I want to ask them, has the shilling reduced, redu um, strengthened from 162 to the dollar to 129 today, yes or no? We look at the cost of living. Has inflation dropped from 96 to 2.7. Every Kenyan knows the price of unga has gone down, the price of kerosene has gone down, the price of electricity has gone down. Those media houses should tell us where they are getting their statistics and where is the source of their information. Also, I dare them, those unpatriotic Kenyans and the unpatriotic media houses, has fertilizer been distributed 6.5 mi million uh, bags to the, the registered farmers, yes or no? We know for a fact that farmers have received it. And I dare them to tell us where, 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 where they think it was not, where the fertilizer was not given. Also towards food security. Today they can go and they can use their investigative journals, journalists to go to the stores and find that we now have 47 million bags of maize and 8.8 .8 million bags of beans and 10.4 million bags of wheat in our reserves. I dare them to dispute this. And we want them, rather than speak from their studios, they should actually go and film them from the stores of Kenya. I also dare them that they should, do they dispute the fact that KCC received three billion to modernize? Do they dispute the fact that Today, farmers are being paid 50 shillings per liter. I am a farmer, and that is the amount I'm receiving. I dare those in those media houses to tell us if they have any milk to sell, how much they sell it for to KCC. I dare them to dispute, dispute the fact that we are now producing, KCC is now processing 220 liters of milk a day up from 100,000 liters. I dare them to dispute the fact that the sex semen is now going for 2,900 shillings. Those of us who have, were dairy farmers were buying it up from before from, at 9, 000, from 9,000 shillings. I want those media houses to again tell us whether or not 56,000 teachers have been hired. They know they have. And they, that list is available at the Teacher Service Commission. And they should stop peddling lies and misinforming Kenyans about the State of the Nation address. On the funding model, again, they can confirm this. Students are now getting up to 95% funding of their school fees. And again, this, they can get the statistics from the uh, Higher Education Fund and from the Higher Education Loans Board. Again, they cannot be making up stories from their screens. On healthcare, we know that they are in telling Kenyans, you're being charged a lot for the social housing insurance fund. What they're not telling Kenyans is Kenyans who are on a higher pay are the ones who are paying. So that all the Kenyans who are vulnerable and needy can be able to access healthcare unlike before. I also dare those who said that the NHIF debts have not been settled. 3.7 billion was disbursed, and earlier another 5 billion was settled. On, uh, on the issue of the Hustler Fund, it is, again, this is information that's available, that 60 billion has already benefited over 24 million Kenyans. And therefore, as, as we look at the President's State of the Nation report, it is important that we call out 
those unpatriotic Kenyans, unpatriotic media houses who are selling toxic, negative. Yes, give the devil. Who are selling the, ne the negative, toxic narratives and the selling a story of doom and hopelessness to Kenyans. Because Kenya is strong, and Kenya, as we saw in the last State of the Nation report, that Kenya is going places, and Kenya is destined for greatness. And I know that one day, those peddlers of doom are going to be shamed. And lastly, Honorable Speaker, for the first time in the State of the Nation report, a nation uh, addressed by, the, by a sitting president, the issue of gender-based violence was given prominence. For that, we are very grateful as the women of Kenya to the president, because now it has received the highest attention due. But even as we say this, I appeal to Kenyans that being able to prevent femicide and gender-based violence requires each of us to be vigilant. On femicide, we need to talk to our children, to tell them not to be found, not to put themselves in vulnerable situations. We also must teach our children to respect women and so that we can be able to be part of prevention rather than going after these people after they've committed the crime. With that, I wish uh, to thank you for the opportunity.